All right, everybody, Peter from Alexo Ming, and today I want to talk to you about rebar work. So the rebar work comes with the engineering. Whenever you do your plans, you have an engineer that stamps these plans and it also goes to the city and you get approval. So obviously that engineer is going to tell you exactly how to do your rebar work, depending on what you're doing. For instance, whether I'm standing right here, this is our Baja and the shallow end. At the bottom, this is the shallow end, and as you can see, it goes down to the deep end. You can see we have more rebars all the way towards the end. We have it towards the wall, and all of those, we call it a schedule. So we have a different schedule for the wall, a different schedule for the bottom of the pool, a different schedule for the spa, and also for our bomb beam. Uh, one thing I want to point out to you, it's going to be our six rebars bomb beam. So it's a continuous bomb beam all around. You can see we have a continuous bomb beam. This is called a bomb beam. This is continuous all the way around the pool. It goes into the spa, it goes back, it goes into the wall, and again, it continuously come back. It even goes into your skimmer. So we have the same six rebars. We have three in the back, three in the front of that. Um, and the engineer gave us a schedule of how to do it. If you look at this portion right here, my spa wall, you can see I have my rebars every one feet scheduled out. And again, we have the same bomb beam, six rebars on the top that continues all around this beautiful pool. Um, so I want to go show you a few other details. The same way it's happening on the bottom, we have about every, you know, we have the dobies, we have them separate out almost every 12 inches. We have an overlay of two feet where the two rebars meet because, you know, these rebars come on a 20, 30 feet long. So this is where I have an overhang right there. Um, and it's a continuous thing. What we always do as well, we shoot this with a shot creek. So one thing to guarantee my work is we always use shot creek versus gunite. Some people use gunite, we do shot creek. And this, again, it's a recommendation from the engineer that comes out depending on the type of the soil or where your property is, we determine that. And usually it's between 3,000 PSI or 35 or 4,000, again, that comes with the city and also the engineer recommendation. Uh, so we order that cement, it comes in and we apply that all over your pool and we kind of create a shell for you. And that's how the pool building is done. 